In this video, I'll be breaking down how I put the FIFA World Cup and a giant soccer ball into this Indiana Jones scene. So all these shots are pretty similar in how I did them. So I'll just be running through how I did one of them, which is the giant soccer ball. Uh, it all kind of starts off with a 3D camera track and After Effects. And once I get that camera track in, I then start to put in a plane so that I can have somewhere when I go into Blender that I can reference where that boulder is or close to where that boulder is according to the After Effects camera. Once that plane is in place, I then use a plugin called AE to blend. I'll, uh, I'll put that in the description if you want to download that plugin. It's definitely worth it. I use it all the time. All you have to do with that plugin is you copy the camera tracker info and then you can paste it directly into Blender and it will put the positioning in. Once you get that place in the blender, all you need to do is make sure your camera data is the same. So by copying the focal length from After Effects into Blender, that's how you're gonna get an accurate camera in Blender. And then the next step is to get that plane in there, which all you have to do for that is copying the position, rotation, and scale. So you can just paste that directly into the AE to blend plugin. Then I just load in a reference video so that I can see what I'm doing and make sure my aspect ratio matches. And then I parent my camera to my plane. I hit Alt G to get that plane centered into the world, which the camera should follow since it's parented. And then I load in my soccer ball. That's a free model of a soccer ball that I found on BlendSwap. And I also found a free World Cup model that I ended up using that I will link also. So once you get that soccer ball in, all I did was I used the video. I went through the shot, blocked out where the soccer ball was at different points in the shot. Then keyframe that in a few key areas. Then I got the curves looking right. And then I added some rotation on the ball. Um, I made sure the lighting was all right, which took a little bit. I used an HDRI, which I can also link below. And then once I had the HDRI in a good spot, I added in some more lighting to just mimic the scene a bit more. And then the final steps were just rotoing out the boulder and then rotoing out uh, Harrison Ford's character. I'm trying to get that as good as I could. I ended up not using the roto brush, even though I started with the roto brush. I ended up just masking his head out because the roto brush wasn't tracking well in the darkness because that the scene's so dark near his head. Um, I did a few lighting tweaks on the ball and that was pretty much it. That, that's the process I followed for all three of those. Yeah, so take a look at the final product. Indiana Jones stealing the World Cup.